Hi folks, welcome back. Here I am at Neely's train shop again today. Beautiful place. I should say beautiful area. Very nice up here. In Altoona. Got mountains. Nice entrance, nice easy access. Anyways, let's go inside, have a look, see what's going on today. Yeah, I was talking to Rich and um, he said he had some really cool new stuff to show me. Um, gonna have to go in here and have a look and see what's going on. The entry is around the side. See? There's their sign. What's behind the green door? And here we go. This is one of the really cool things he was telling me about. These are custom made Neely train shop buildings. They're about 10 inches by about six. Very nice, look at the detail. And they're lighted. Plug it in. Not yet. Got to plug it in. Okay. Oh, look at that. You see his train? I didn't see that. Look at that. Look, there's a shop inside too. cool last time I was in I forgot to show you guys this this is Altoona and it is right down the street from the horseshoe curve what they have is an end scale setup looks just like it Hope you guys can read this. You can pause it. Let's look around and see what else there is. That one didn't work. Plastic ears are messed up. Look at this. Rich picked this up. This is an arcade game. Engine. Three cars. <laughs> Made around 1986. It's French. It's, fr it's a French fried machine. It's a French fried machine. He's going to run it here in a minute. Okay, let's watch it. You guys want to see it run? I'm not real good at this, so the object of the game, if you see the lights down here, you have to get the cars in the appropriate places. We have a problem with the red and the green, so we have to switch them. So what we're going to do is we're going to run down here and we're going to pick up the red car. We're going to bring it back, we're going to flip the switch, and then we're going to drop the car. Uncouple it, come back over, we're going to switch and we're going to go get the green car. We're going to bring the green car back out. And it's all time, so you only have so much time to get it done. Then we're going to drop the green car, and we're going to come back over, and we're going to pick up the red car. We're going to take the red car over and put it in its final resting space. And if you look at the gauge, it says fuel tank. That's your timer. So we're at 500 gallons. and Lots of time. Yeah, lots of time. So we're going to take the red car down, and we're going to put the red car back in the hole. We're going to drop it, and then we're a winner. We got the red light dinner. Yeah, the red light behind the DD35. And that's pretty much it. Just a neat game and you get the Neely's I wanted chicken dinner. It. Yep, I wanted it and I bought it and that was it. So he's a big kid. Yeah, that's all. But it is neat. It's cool. And they make this game with uh, tractor trailers too, which is neat. But, very cool game. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. 
Okay guys, we're going to look around at some other interesting things he has here today. Hi right, folks, look at this. Rich just said he had these available. He just picked these up the other day. These are pen line. Two HO sets. I'll show you inside in a minute here. These things are awesome. Made in Pennsylvania, Boyertown. Now I'm looking at it right now, Rich. Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Yep. We're thinking these were made in the 1950s, something like that. I'm not sure. We're here talking about these. Um, one is a GG1. And one is a diesel set. I'm going to open the lids and I'll be right back. Okay, here we have our diesel set. Northern Pacific. Look at these cars. Can't get any cleaner than that. Unrun, unused. The inside of the box is even pristine. Has all the instructions. There's the lid. The other set, which is even cooler than this one, is a GG1. Has the light car. Very nice. box car and a gondola trailer hopper extra trailer ramp and a truck with all the paperwork there it is both sets are available here Rich said he'll mail them out to you. You can come here and pick them up. Be back in a minute. Hey, look at this here. Here's another nice HO set. This is a Lionel. I'm not sure what year it was made. We're thinking mid-50s to mid-60s. Somewhere in there. Unfortunately... Richie just informed me that it was already sold. But he gets stuff like this in quite often that is normally available for a short time, but it's still available here. He moves his stock out pretty quick. The box is even pretty nice. New home for this one's going to be up in New York somewhere. You guys, if you see something while I'm walking through here, you like it, give him a call. He does ship. You ship daily, right, Rich? We ship every single day. UPS and? UPS, FedEx, and Priority Mail. Got that, guys? It's all insured, right, Rich? I won't ship anything that's not insured. Okay. You heard if you it, guys. If you don't like it, send it back. That's the way we look at it, you know. Like you just said, if you don't like it, send it back. It'll... He'll refund your money. Absolutely. Uh, sending it back, Rich, is their dime or your dime? If there's something wrong with it, no, it's my dime. If they got it and they just decide they don't want it, then that's their, you know. That's that on happens, you. That happens a lot, too. People buy something and say, well, I got the wrong thing or I really didn't want that. It's like, yeah, whatever. So, gotcha. You know, we'll work that, with you. That's what we're here for. Every day of the week. That's right. Other, other than Sunday. We're not here for Sundays. You need a day off sometimes. Yeah, I know. Let's take a walk around here. Here's one that I'm going to be taking with me to fix for him, put back together and get running. This is a 394 standard gauge. Um, the interesting thing about this is somebody put a smoke unit in it. So this is a, for a future video. We're going to take her, get her running for him. Let's see around the rest of the shop here. Like I said last time, there's just so much to look at. This is his personal collection here. Really nice stuff. Look at the old boxes. Those are new ones. There we go. This 
this is just on display. He was showing me this one this morning. Look at that. It's a double O. It's a box car. In the box. This is a dis dealer display box, right, Rich? Yeah. How nice is that? 39 to 42. 39 to 42 it was made. Nice little Lionel HO cars back there. The cattle car. He's got both there. The black and the white. Here's another very interesting one. American Flyer. I'm just going to take a quick stroll here, though. I had to stop and look. Hey, look at them tunnels. You know we like them tunnels. Serviced, unserviced, new, like new. More HO stuff. I just like it in general how bright it is in here. Look at them Ertl. Yeah, very nice. He's got a lot of the LGB stuff now too. Couple engines. Like I said, he has new and used. It's all here. Just give him a call. What a supply. Just like the old time stores. From floor to ceiling. He was telling me he just picked this up too.